Brazil is an agricultural and energy powerhouse. Our agriculture sector is one of the most competitive in the world, producing food for billions of people. Our hydroelectric plants provide the country with clean electricity and put us at the forefront of the fight against climate change. Brazil has these advantages for a reason that is hidden in plain sight. It's because half of its territory is home to the largest rainforest on Earth, the Amazon. It creates the environmental conditions necessary for Brazil's success. Amazonia is cut by the largest river and drained by the largest hydrographic basin on the planet. It holds 20% of the world's available fresh water. But the rivers that flow on its surface are only part of the story. The forest itself creates another river in the air. Trees recycle moisture that comes from the ocean producing what meteorologists call low-altitude jets, also known as flying rivers. They are large, wet masses with the volume of another Amazon river that travel to the south and bring rain to crops and hydroelectric reservoirs. When the flying rivers fail, the rest of the country suffers. The record drought that hit the Pantanal in 2020 was due to an interruption in the jets of moisture from the Amazon. This episode highlights the role of the forest as a climate regulator. It prevents the impacts of global warming from being even more severe, either by absorbing our pollution or by storing CO2 in trees and soil. Indigenous lands alone store an amount of carbon equivalent to almost a year of emissions from all of humanity. Destruction of the forest puts the global climate at risk. Additionally, the Amazon holds an economic potential that is still unknown, that of biodiversity. Scientists have been cataloging the region's fauna and flora since the 19th century. And even today, they discover a new species every two days. But the more than 40,000 species already identified are believed to be just a small fraction of the total that exists. From this diversity come products that today make up global supply chains worth billions, like cocoa and acai, which in the state of Pará create more revenue than soy. This biological diversity is a product of evolution, but also of human presence. The ancestors of indigenous peoples were already living in the forest 12,000 years ago. They transformed the Amazon into a center of cultural and technological innovation. Domesticated plants changed the geographic distribution of trees and even created a kind of fertile soil that exists to this day throughout the basin. Even though they suffered multiple genocides, indigenous peoples still live in the Amazon, representing about 200 peoples and speaking 200 languages. And they continue to cultivate and protect their territories. And they are not the only ones that benefit. Recent studies show that forests in the Amazon can produce the equivalent of $100 billion per year in environmental services, which is equivalent to the total agribusiness exports of the entire country. This balance is threatened by deforestation, the destruction of the forest. Since the 1970s, Brazil has seen in the Amazon the largest elimination of a natural ecosystem in human history. By 1975, only half a percent of the Amazon had been deforested. In 1990, we reached five and a half percent. Today, 20 percent of the original forested area has been destroyed. In less than 50 years, we have lost an area almost equivalent to the territories of Germany and France combined. Another 20% have been degraded by fire or predatory logging. 
The vast majority of this deforestation is criminal. One third of it results directly from land grabbing, the name given to the illegal appropriation of public lands. Almost 99% have some indication of illegality. And public agencies took action on less than 5% of deforestation alerts. From 2004 to 2012, Brazil adopted a successful plan to reduce deforestation. The devastation fell by 83% in that period. Then it went up again, and as of 2019, it has been out of control. It isn't only deforestation that has exploded in the forest. The rise in the price of gold in recent years, coupled with reduced control by the state, caused a gold rush in the region. Illegal mining has grown threefold in the last decade in the Amazon in general, and almost fivefold in indigenous territories. The destruction is ongoing, scarring the forest and contaminating the waters, fish, and people. 75% of the population of Santarém, one of the largest cities in Pará, has mercury in their blood above acceptable levels. In the region of the Tapajós River, the mining mud extends for more than 500 kilometers downstream. This year, it produced shocking images of the murky water in Alter do Chão, a beach in Pará considered one of the most beautiful in Brazil. But the effects of the devastation and illegal activities extend much further. Deforestation is heating up and drying out the Amazon. This increases fires and weakens the flying rivers. Even worse, it turns the forest into a carbon bomb. In 2021, a study showed that parts of the Amazon already emit more carbon than they absorb. Grim confirmation of predictions made by scientists 30 years ago. The destruction leaves the forest more vulnerable to the effects of climate change. And that combination is pushing it to a tipping point, in which the biome that protects Brazilians and their neighbors today turns into a risk to their well-being, to the national economy, and to the entire planet.